Okay, so you want to be able to walk, kick, dance, or dance, if you know what I mean, in VR chat using full body tracking. So here's a comprehensive guide to full body tracking using HTC Vive trackers. So right off the bat, I'm going to say that there are multiple ways to accomplish full body. Ranging from the cheapest option, you can get an old Kinect or Kinect 2 with Driver 4 VR, a software used for interfacing these things into game. You could also use Nolo, a system originally developed for 6 off tracking for headsets like the Gear VR, and essentially strap the system to your legs, and once again use Driver 4 VR to make everything work together. Today, however, I'm going over the absolute best, but most expensive solution. Using HTC Vive tracking pucks and and everything you need to get and do to accomplish full body tracking seamlessly within VR chat. Also, just to let you know, this is pretty much the same procedure for every other full body tracking enabled game, so if you're scared about spending all the dough on just a single game and being able to move freely in it, there is more to it than just VR chat. So first off, everything that you need. In terms of hardware, you're going to need base stations, three Vive trackers, straps to connect the trackers to your body, and of course a VR headset with controllers. I'm just going to put this out there, yes you can use Vive trackers while on an Oculus headset, but in addition to your entire Oculus setup, you need to buy the base stations and Vive trackers as well as run extra software in the background to get everything running properly. If there really is enough demand, I'll make a video on it, but this video is going to be just focused on using a Vive. Vive Pro or Index or you know, things that use base stations. In terms of software, you're of course going to need Steam VR and VR Chat. Also, to make the calibration of your avatars with full body tracking work properly, you're going to need Open VR Advanced Settings for Steam VR. This is honestly just a good thing to have in general, so if you don't already have it, we'll go over it in just a bit. Another very popular tool to use is a thing called PlaySpace Mover, which is really just a little too advanced for this short video. I'd like to make a more in-depth advanced tutorial on that, along with other things like charging your trackers while using them a little bit later on just to cover all the bases. So let's just get right into what you need to order and what's compatible with what so you can get into full body ASAP. You're going to need the three Vive trackers and in those boxes you will get of course the trackers, a micro USB cable, a USB dongle, and a dongle cradle. Also be aware that there are two versions of Vive trackers available. The gray logo pucks are only good for base station 1.0s and the blue logo pucks are good for base station 2.0s and 1.0s. So just by the blue logo ones, also known as the 2018 version. These trackers can be sourced for around $100 each. You're also going to need the straps to actually secure the trackers to your body. I've been using the track belt and track strap by Rebuilt Reality. They've been working well for me and are pretty comfortable and seem well built enough. They do cost $50 though for the full package, which is pretty steep. So the actual setup is dead simple. You're going to want an extra micro USB for this setup. Plug in all of your USB dongles, and this is where those dongle cradles come into play. You're going to want to spread the dongles apart, really just not directly next to each other. The dongles are capable of interfering with each other, so just using the included cradles makes everything work smoothly. Not saying that you can't have all the dongles right next to each other, but you'll be avoiding unnecessary hassle by just keeping them set apart. Right, so plug them in, open Steam VR, go to Settings, Devices, Pair Controller, select Pair Another Type of Controller, and pick Vive Tracker. We're going to be syncing these things one at a time, so hold down the Vive logo button until the light comes on. Then hold down the button one more time until you get a flashing blue light. Within seconds, Steam VR should sync with your tracker and the light will turn green. You're more than likely going to need to update your trackers, which you'll have to do one at a time, so plug your tracker into that extra micro USB cord and select update. Repeat these same steps for all three trackers and you'll now see them on your Steam VR window as well as see a green light on all of them. You're all synced up and honestly you could just hop in and play now, but we're going to install install OpenVR advanced settings because in order to make everything work better with full body tracking, it's just a great tool to have. It has many uses, but we're going to be using it mainly for adjusting our play space height so our body syncs correctly with our avatars. So close Steam VR, download OpenVR advanced settings, install it, and once it is completed, you're good to open Steam VR again. Screw your trackers onto the straps and attach them to your body. We're almost there, but don't turn your trackers on just yet. For the foot straps, you totally could wear socks or nothing if you want to, but I found that wearing shoes with your trackers goes a long way at keeping everything in place while minimizing the jiggle that you could get during fast or powerful movements. Now in terms of positioning, I like to ever so slightly cant the trackers to the side, but just barely. The important thing here is for the trackers to be on the same position on both feet. You don't 
want one pointed sideways and one pointing up. It just won't calibrate correctly. Now for your belt, you could wear this over your shirt or what I do whenever I have a belt loop is use the strap as a belt. Both ways work, but when I use the strap as a belt, it does stay a little more secured. Tucking in your shirt might also be a decent idea so you don't run into occlusion issues. Okay, so now that you're all hooked up, get Steam VR going and turn on your controllers first. This is mainly just to avoid Steam VR thinking that you're trying to use the trackers as your controller and wasting your time. Now turn on all your Vive trackers by holding down the button until you see the green light, put on your headset, and go ahead and launch VR chat. You'll see when you load in, your avatar is now in a T pose and your trackers are represented with little balls. To put it simply, you want to line up your trackers with the corresponding body part on your avatar. So feet to feet, hip to hip, and get your shoulders at roughly the same height as your avatars and match your hands as closely as possible. Pretty much just put yourself into a T pose. Press the triggers and now you will exit the T pose and will be in full body tracking. You can move your legs, hips, feet, rotate them, do whatever you want, and it's pretty damn amazing. So savor it for a second. The most recent VRChat update as of this video greatly improved the ease of use for full body tracking and makes just about all avatars have pretty good full body support right out of the box. But due to the height and proportion differences between avatars, sometimes you're going to have to tweak a few things to get your trackers to match up with the bones correctly. If you run into the situation where the tracker balls in game are far too high or far too low, this is where you would go into your Steam VR dash, access the advanced settings you installed earlier, navigate to boundaries, and you can manually bump your place space height up or down to get everything to match up correctly. If you get your trackers in the correct spot, which between the foot and ankle is usually a safe range, but your arms or shoulders are too high or low, now you have to go into your actual VR chat settings and adjust your height higher or lower to make sure everything matches up. This is pretty much just a give and take to get everything set correctly. Honestly, this is really intuitive to do once you try it and is super simple to revert. You also don't have to do this all the time, I generally only have to mess with it if I'm popping into a weirdly proportioned or a super short or tall avatar. Just taking a couple minutes to properly set everything up can really make a big difference in how good and fluid your avatar looks. Like I said earlier, Play Space Mover is a thing and I will do an advanced tips video, but for now, this will get you everything you need to get set up and looking great. If you do have issues like one of your trackers slides out of position, or you smack your hip tracker and it makes your avatar go all wonky, then now you can easily recalibrate your avatar from the T-Pose directly from the menu. The batteries on your Vive trackers will last anywhere from four to five hours, which isn't too bad, but believe me, that time will fly by and you'll be wishing that you have your legs back. So yeah, it's expensive. I fully understand that. The applications are pretty limited and you need to already have base stations or acquire them to use this method of full body, but it truly is amazing. And in my time with full body, I realized just how incredibly important having full body tracking is and how much it changes the experience of being in VR. It's legitimately just as much a difference for me going from flat screen to VR as it is going from regular VR chat to full body VR chat. If this is something that you can afford and you're interested in, I can certainly say go for it. The setup is easy as hell and the end result is amazing. And to be totally fair, these trackers can be used for other things than just full body. If you're into mixed reality applications or tracking objects in VR, these are great. I just wish that they could be cheaper. That's my gripe. It'd be so much more accessible for people. Either way, I hope that you enjoyed and got something valuable from this video. If you have any extra tips for people, go ahead and leave a comment. As always, it's extremely appreciated. I'd really love to try out other methods of full body tracking, both current and future, and make that a staple of the channel, especially with rumors of full body support around OC6, so if you're interested in that sort of stuff, just let me know. Don't forget to like this video if you loved it, subscribe if you want more of this, and hit that freaking bell if you just can't live without it. Much love, thrill out, and welcome to full body, my friends.